News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukot Ali. And a jolly good morning to you. Uh, welcome to Newsline, live from the News First studios in Dorset Street in Colombo. And uh, our guest this morning is Dr. Dr. Pratibha Mahana Mahema. Very good morning to you. Very Doctor. good morning, Faraz. And uh, thank you very much for coming on uh, our program. It's, uh, my it's been a while, actually, since we've seen you on Newsline again. Yeah. Now then, uh, all sorts of things are happening. And the Presidential Commission of Inquiry into the bonds yeah. uh, seems to be bringing out uh, lots of wonderful information. And it's almost a pleasure to see how this information is, mm. uh, is coming out. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? No, I mean uh, appointing such commissions. Even uh, opposition also uh, really like a situation like this because president involved and appointed a commission. But my main argument yeah. is what will happen to the scope. Now, yeah. COPE committee also, yeah. they have collected this type of evidence. So immediately you should not go for a commission like this. Now appointing a commission, I am not uh, basically criticizing that. But prima facie evidence or apparent evidence is there yes. that this has been involved. Yeah. So therefore they can go for a definite criminal case with Honorable Attorney General. They submit the file. Thereafter Attorney General can indict. So I, Rather than doing it for us, what yeah. they did. They appointed another commission. This commission, a lot of information coming. So, ethical, unethical, legal, illegal, lawyers are involved. So, what is the final outcome? Who is going to sue? That's my main argument. Right. Whether the commission take action or whether it's the legal system, attorney general take the action with indictment. That's the only issue. So, I what's think. the role of the commission of inquiry then? Role of commission inquiry, they collect evidence. Right. Now, evidence already collected. Yeah. Appointing a commission is basically with due respect for this commission. I'm not criticizing, but dragging this. How many witnesses may come in future? Yeah. And finally, what type of uh, investigation and how they are going to prepare all these documents and final results. So therefore, I think uh, rather than dragging cases, not only this, there are several issues we can discuss. Yeah. There is a criminal action, there is a civil action, and also CID also, you know, yeah. and basically doing the investigation. Yeah. So three separate institutions. Right. One is COPE, one is Sri Lanka Police, and the other one is basically this bond issue commission. So right. these three, whether they amalgamate or whether they separately going for this. Yeah. Now people in this country sometimes they are really frustrated no action still taken, only the appointment of commission, but we have to see outcome. We have seen several commissions. Now, now um, uh, Dr. Mahana Meheba, we had an instance where the Prime Minister appointed a three-member committee yes. of lawyers. Yes. Uh, there was lots of um, concern at the time because these lawyers uh, were supposed to be loyal to the United National Party. That shouldn't preclude them. but. Now, they gave a thing saying that there was nothing really wrong with this matter. And they, of course, they wanted an investigation into uh, the company involved, Perpetual Treasuries. Correct. Now, the COP reports after, thereafter, and now the evidence that is coming out of the Commission of Inquiry, yeah. indicates a complete about turn in the sense that mm. the three member committee said there was nothing wrong. Yeah. But all these others are now, there's mounting evidence that there was something significantly and substantially wrong with this whole process. What should be done? Should these three lawyers be debarred? Should they be censured? Is it their fault? Did they have a, uh, a remit to look into this thing fully? Or was it a half-baked, a deliberate half-baked remit so that they wouldn't be able to look too deep? I think uh, in the legal sense, yeah. This three member committee appointed by the Prime Minister yeah. is not a legal one. Right. It's just like a preliminary inquiry or preliminary investigation or fact finding mission to get some idea on it. So, therefore, what is the legal stance? Prime Minister to appoint a committee it, which has no legal mandate just to go through certain type of activities happen or not to get some idea for the Prime Minister whether this has been legal done. But the issue whether they have legal powers, this committee is only to see the ethical or whether it's a legal one. 
Yeah. That's the main argument. Yeah. So, half-baked something you said yes. is correct. So, this is only to get some idea and this never stop taking legal action further. Right. If these three reputed lawyers, yeah. they may have gone through but certain it was the documents. Yeah. They have not cross-questioned the witnesses. Right. Look here for us. So, that is they, what the equation yeah. of inquiry is doing. No, no. The, the three people, what they have done, the yeah. respected lawyers, they have gone through the documents. Right. They never question or uh -huh. they never ask any question from these witnesses. Right. But this commission is basically a legally appointed one. And special gazette is there. Right. But these type of things, even you can appoint. So, what, what, what happened to Sri Lankan airline? When yeah. Sri Lankan airline, when the new government came, three lawyer, one lawyer appointed. Yeah. This lawyer gave a report, yeah. Sri Lankan airline, highly corrupted. Yeah. What the Sri Lankan chairman said, nothing. How many rupees wasted yeah. for preparing these reports? Yeah. Now for us, what is the action? Yes. The chairman say no, nothing happened like that. Right. So similar thing. Wait, wait, I'll, I'll tell. Yeah. Lot of uh, inquiry like that. Yeah. Not only these, uh, you know, central bank, Sri yeah. Lankan airlines, other places. So this is where, when the government, they came to power yeah. to show lot yeah. of corruptions happened. Yeah. And finally, what is the decision? These are not with the legal base, and right. these are all useless. The money they spend out of that is a uh, expenditure. Who will bear that? So the these people, people, people has to bear. Yeah. So finally, the remedy you have to take a legal action for. Now then, uh, we have a viewer who says here that uh, uh, this is to do with the uh, uh, the, the three member committee. Yeah. Uh, the viewer says that. Uh, did this committee, the three-member committee, did they take a contract on behalf of the Prime Minister? It's the same as a killer being given a contract. Uh, I think actually it may not be a contract. It is basically to see for an uh, investigation. But, but, it's but, just an advisory panel uh, to advise I am also not sure. Advisory yeah. panel, there, there must be a legal base. No? appointing you to a commission. Well, it was like that uh, with the UN Secretary General to yeah. look into Sri Lanka. It yeah. was not an official UN body thing. But international it was, inquiry. It was, it, was, uh, it was an advisory uh, team yeah. to advise the office of the yeah. uh, Secretary General. Yeah. But it never say these three lawyers are appointed to take uh, advice. Uh, That's right. Role. That's right. But, but UN, they said basically. Yes. Ban Ki Moon yeah. to get some advice. Yeah. What happened? They appointed this three committee. Right. Based on that, only investigation done. Now, even uh, this three member committee for the central mm. bank bond scam. Yeah. But finally, what happened? Now the commissions are there. So, what's the use of appointing these type of. Uh, so, these people? were all time wasting exercises. Time wasting. No, no. Don't blame only central bank, Sri Lankan airline, yes. and uh, sports authority. Lot of places are there. Exactly. All they prepared report when. The government came to power two years before. So why can't they file action against Sri Lanka and all these corrupted people? This is only report for us. What can you do? do you even, though, has, even, even whether it's uh, accepted by Honorable Attorney General? No. This do, you think, do you think it's something to do with uh, the Prime Minister's friends holding positions? The chairman of Sri Lankan Airlines uh, is, uh, I think he's a classmate of the Prime Minister. Is friendship coming into play? Let's see, forget about the Prime Minister. Okay. I studied Royal. You are my best friend. Rather than the politics, I like your friendship. I want to cover up everything. That's my stance. But so not I, I can't generalize that. But I, not at the expense of oh, the people. It can be because our friendship is so long than politics. And also you have saved me several times. This is my personal view I'm telling, right? This is not any other person. So I feel basically friendship having more binding than the politics. Uh, another viewer says here, it clearly states that evidence given in front of the Presidential Commission of Inquiry into the bonds cannot be used in court. Therefore, once the Commission sittings are completed, the accused will know the entire evidence available prior to any charges being framed. Isn't this a very funny situation? Absolutely correct. These are all open for media. And the other thing, the Commission was not given police protection. Yeah. Now that is another thing. Yeah. So everywhere all these politicians going traffic police there. But a very serious commission like this. Yeah. Uh, the chairman also blamed, I, I saw in the papers, headline papers, the IGP has not given the protection. So that means whether they are 
taking this as seriously and also all these uh, inquiry information coming out yeah. it is very easy for you to set up a defense now the defense royal but, his but lawyer's need, role is very easy with but we need court. to start somewhere we and, need to start somewhere and, and yeah. so the presidential commission of inquiry has now established several uh, several facts for example still not that, concluded Faraz exactly. is a subjudicate otherwise yes. this subjudicate yes. this is a case still going on yes. until the case concluded final report prepared submitted to president you and me cannot tell anything but no, looking no, through not. looking through this information yes. i think this may be a very good stance for the defense lawyer but it isn't it amazing that the officers of the central bank uh, at this commission of inquiry have come there again under oath as they were we are in front of court yeah that there are all, all these sort of detail is coming out like the fact that mr mahendran was uh, in the uh, on the auction floor uh, a, a statement that he uh, contradicted very much earlier uh, during this whole saga um, and that 1 billion became 10 and how they have you know, uh, yesterday Mr. Samarasiri says that the uh, some of these minutes were changed or amended. How how can they do that? Even a cabinet paper can be amended in some place. What is this for us? Cabinet take a final decision. That is conclusive one. If that is happening to cabinet papers according to media report, this is nothing. This is nothing. Even last night, see what happened, Balapitiya High Court, all this, uh, this uh, record room, yes. full security is there, but still they have opened and searched certain documents. So security is nothing in Sri Lanka at the moment. If a courthouse cannot provide a security like that, you see three, three stages are there, a person want to go inside. Yeah. So amendment and all these things are nothing. But people, if they try to amend, it's not like that. So commission members are there, they all read that daily proceedings they sign yeah. after signing you can't do because the original also they keep a copy yeah. so amending deleting alterations these are there after submitting reports but this has become a, a normal culture in Sri Lanka that is not good for good governance that's my argument well it's not good for good governance but what this uh, central bank bond uh, scandal has yeah. uh, has certainly proved uh, proven is that the level of political patronage that has become available to this one company Correct. and to, to the beneficial owners of that company. Mm. Because now we are told, that there are various media reports and so on, that uh, the beneficial owners of that, that company are also involved in the setting up of a distillery in the Absolutely. East. Now, in your view, a distillery, should a distillery be encouraged by the giving of a tax concession? Absolutely not. What is the government policy to put a full stop for this type of activities? Now that is president's vision. And who has given all these tax benefit? Who has encouraged to open a distillery in that country, in that area? So president going one way, addressing the nation, addressing school, We'll stop this. But but wait, 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 one, yes. but maybe I can't blame who had given all the tax. Maybe, yeah. maybe Minister of Finance sometime. So well, who, is, yeah, yeah, who, yeah. who is powerful then? Why the ministers cannot carry out president's pledge? Give me a few minutes. Yes. President I have seen in Norelia openly, openly address and discourage all type of activities. Yeah. But a fellow member in the cabinet may open in this. The other members are criticizing. SL, SLFB members can wait, SLFB yeah. members only can criticize other than that they can't do anything. So two parties go in two ways. That is where international affairs they have seen. So this is absolutely nonsense happening in this country. And the other thing, basically we come to this issue, bond issue, conflict of interest. Conflict of interest. If you are my son-in-law, then I can set up a company. And then how they have diverted all these things. So the former central bank governor should understood one thing. Basic legal issue is conflict of interest. And you said he was in the floor and several several meetings had happened. That's right. It never happened in the central bank history. That's it right. never happened in the central bank history. But the issue but that now, doesn't now, necessarily but, but that doesn't necessarily make it illegal, but it is a question of ethics. That's right. 
ethics that is good governance code of conduct that's the pledge we give what is that we are not continuing the previous system we go according to law a due process all these things what now we see old tarnish that is we are central bank or no anyone can do that but it has to be cost with the government Now then, the issue. if you were a member of the United National Party yes. and if you had supported them all throughout yes. and if they were ideologically your partner if you like what would you say to its leader who seems to be messing things up wouldn't you want him changed yes definitely we need to change but like previous honorable minister gamani jaisuri a long time back resign Yeah. The only thing United National Party yeah. their constitution is powerful for us their yeah. constitution is powerful yeah. because of this you can't even criticize and also there is another you know constitution section 90 yeah. what it say the party is power right you can openly express certain things but finally what will happen they will take disciplinary actions against you yeah. whether i should remain in the parliament or whether i should resign so that is the bit some members are saying i am going to resign i am going to be independent nothing like this in the system constitution say yeah. nothing like that finally you have to individual members are not powerful in this former cj saraten silvas judgment the crossing and all these things happen yeah. so the platform is now open yeah. so therefore individual mp cannot survive in the system like 97 to 77 system they were more independent nothing called independent today we have to resign that's why if i were in the united national party definitely i resign even ekabad uh, vipaksha or joint opposition also like that so i want to resign i go and ask from people whether and, i should resign or no these are all playing uh, and in the in, and in the face of such mounting evidence are of concern about Correct. central bank bond yes. is one thing and various acts of corruption we we can go on and on the list is endless Correct. you know the hoax wagon plant the tire plant the the road contracts the highway contracts the supply of coal uh, the list is endless and you know uh, we have a situation a very sta- uh, strange situation where if you are importing certain items in the, used in the construction and the water industry uh, there there are no standards if you import them but if you supply them locally there are standards <laughs> so that's double standards that's uh, it, it's complete uh, uh, nonsense really so in the face of all this why is it that the joint opposition why do you think that they are silent or they're not active enough or not was fearless enough under this executive president system opposition is much weak not only this even joint opposition having such a members we should little bit appreciate because they are fighting for people's right there is a opposition in sri lanka what the opposition say geneva resolution is the best resolution so therefore they are not thinking about the country if a opposition is not there even these members are fighting for certain rights the issue is this even any opposition until the election declares they are powerless under the system they are powerless so you have to open your voice even last time also see yeah the powerful ministers crossed after declaration of a election so until that the powerful government even previously it has happened they try to take them to their side so that is the main issue happening in this system this is i am not blaming to the constitution this is a system we have set up how to change this system how to change this culture even sometimes uh, there may be some minister post given for the opposition members or even uh, joint opposition members yeah. they will accept that so this is where you have to see when a problem coming even no one they are to save you that system is running at the moment yeah. and see this vehicle misuse only one mp they are targeting but how many mps are there in the present government or even the previous even in the cor- bribery and corruption commission former minister was there yes. but no action taken i mean if you take action take action equally for every mp rather than whether they are in opposition or whether they are in the government party so people do call these things if there is a massive corruption had happened previous yeah the only solution cross to the other side i will say 
So this is where most of the time they are not taking any action. Even in the present, how many consultants are there for a uh, minister? Yes. How many vehicles are given for a minister? Are they not misusing it? Uh, are there any complaints? Whether you are uh, independently having these things? No. We have not seen. Have you seen in Sri Lanka, like any other country, a parliament member, former minister, served at least three year jail term in Sri Lanka prison? No. For us, no. All these are political games. This is where the culture we have to change. In other countries, we have seen politicians and former ministers, they have served jail terms more than 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. So, the present politicians also know only an inquiry. Few months in the prison, after that, bail out, come up and case dragging. But, but there are, but there are uh, uh, very double, uh, very much of these double standards going on. Hurry. Because there are some Hurry. who are charged, some who are not charged. That's right, tell uh, So it's like, a, it's like another stock exchange, you know, where you're trading. Finally, what will happen to your market? Market collapse. The well, uh, certainly the Columbus uh, Stock Exchange is yeah, going that way. Definitely. Last Will week, you it, get the uh, it hit below six thousand too. You know, they are also taking their funds back from some companies, and they go to Vietnam and other countries, yeah. even having a socialist system. How many USA investments in Vietnam and Sri Lanka? We have peace now. No terrorism. Sure. We have land. Everything tax free also given. Tax free holidays. Why people, why investors not come in? The president in how many countries? Tell me from Germany how many investors came? Huh? Previously how many countries president visited? Japan, how many investors there? No, they have their political analysis, economic analysis. This, wait, this is not a good yeah. time to go to Sri Lanka because yeah. two parties, they watch carefully what president say, what prime minister say, what others, other ministers do. So they have a little bit suspicion in Sri Lanka. This is the only country having, a, a, you know, national government, the so-called national government yeah. or two-party government, because when they analyze, one go with left side, one go with right side. That's right. Openly, some some members say, if this government collapses, we are supporting to president. All joint opposition, they yeah. say. So they are waiting for the collapse. Now, what will happen internationally? Uh, this is not a good time to go to Sri Lanka. Let's see. Let's see patiently once the government stabilize, we go and invest. That's a situation. Please, you are in London, you have seen what's happening in the country. Others are analyzing this. Yeah. So that's why no investment coming. Also, I appeal from the government, let's come for a one policy and work. Until that, you never get an investment. Situations like this, uh, opening a certain type of, uh, uh, you know, companies in other parts. What yeah. do you say? The policy still we have not prepared. And also see, foreign minister, what he said. When the resolution came up, they agreed. Now they are going for a soft stance. No. Time given for two years, let carry out the international inquiry. Still they won the hybrid court. Still they won. We never amended. We never put an addition. Only one thing for us, international resolution. Now four years, yeah. what we have done. Yeah. Even have we set up a national inquiry? Nothing yeah. for us. They will give up after two years and then they will ask, where is the hybrid court? So the issue still remaining, only we got few years. But talking, then the government time also finished at that but, time. Yes, but and talking about uh, Geneva and so on, uh, we now notice uh, in the last few weeks yeah. that uh, the foreign minister is now saying that there will not be uh, international judges. It is uh, not the original. He, he, he seems to be now echoing what the president has said. President and Prime Minister. Uh, uh, what he said many moons ago. <laughs> so now we see, uh, is this merely uh, a buying of time? Buying of time, passing of time. At least locally, have we set up even Truth and Reconciliation Commission or a national inquiry, how to promote human rights, how to protect? Now I saw in 2014 Geneva what happened. Geneva, one slogan, regime change. A regime change rather than protecting promotion human rights in Sri Lanka yeah. what was the slogan from West I'm eyewitness I saw it regime change only but Russia China Saudi Arabia all these Middle East countries were with us now the regime change so they also don't worry about this so they also keep on keep on passing the time but Zayda Hussein Prince Zayda Hussein is yeah. more more certain we are setting up uh, hybrid court in Sri Lanka. Resolution, no change, no national inquiry, no uh, only local judges. So 
for us analyze this another day we can talk we take the resolution we take the past resolution yeah. and we will take the extended resolution same no change only time given so this is merely postponing the inevitable that's right and winning heart of sri lankans because provincial council elections are coming and also municipality council elections are coming but are they coming in september they have to have it good governance what kofi annan united nation uh, secretary general what he said good governance means people participation people participation means time to time election needed so definitely you can't violate the law in the country you can't violate the constitution in the country that is the pledge given by the government if they do so that can be a disastrous but west is there to protect west is there to protect you do any ugly thing we are in to protect why one system is going we do many things according to the amendment so what you're saying is that we have a situation of uh, a government within government definitely government within government intergovernment a uh, lot of things are there why can't we come for, why the senior cabinet minister resign from this uh, sign in this uh, port agreement and uh, assist in the port agreement because yeah. he know definitely if we sign he can't win in next election so these are some of the issues whatever for us government will come and go but you have to carry out the policy easily we could have extend this uh, type of agreement in this port authority how many time uh, how many years we have dragged this but finally we come to the same solution and a worse solution because it's a contract you know what happened to hg it's a contract once you sign a contract legitimate expectation given for the chinese uh, this harbor private limited so therefore you can't withdraw that if you withdraw it or if you try to terminate millions of you have to pay million of dollars you have to pay to understand that they took two and a half years us but that's shocking it's shocking because they have, they have all the legal brains and the yes. legal department like the ag's department and so on and they've taken two and a half no, years no, to no, understand no, that no, no for us the promise was given we discontinue this that's the promise given to people but later they really so we can't do it so we are these legal experts been preparing the election promises whatever they promise Do you, uh, do, do you think that no uh, land you have to give 15000 acres are, do you think that our ministers uh, led by the prime minister uh, had no idea about this legal expectation they had idea to win the election they had idea to win the election after that only they are trying to analyze now what you have to pay more compensation huh? more compensation we have that's the final solution so finally now india not good terms with sri lanka please remember india not good with them. why why no, you are why. giving all this to china what about us then we have to you know satisfy india you have to give certain type of land from trinco so that is the thing happening but india watching but, but this action. is only part of india south india is not happy with us that is where south indian vote bank is a golden vote bank for bharatiya janata party please remember that yes. they are also looking they are prospects not sri lanka even this illegal you know fishing and other things happening in uh, pesali even the minister present minister fisheries even he saw 500 trawlers are coming and taking our yes. fisheries harvest but you know no action, uh, no but, action taken. but but mr modi um, uh, sort of uh, has now uh, disregarded or, or, or almost sidelined or is not paying as much attention to south india as previously obviously because the rest of india yes. has given him the agreed agreed certain by election and he visited sri lanka yeah certain by elections uh, their party won so therefore they are not putting much and after the demise of uh, jayalalitha yeah. and the party separation he now analyzing that situation but still they are really interested what happening in sri lanka but there you have it uh-huh. in in south india we we had jayalalitha's partner yeah. uh, who's now been found guilty and is behind bars Definitely. but this doesn't happen in sri lanka that's why i'm telling that's why i'm telling so you have to actually a good chance for them to indict that but means not independent still you, the political pressure is there do you think mr mana dr mana have that uh, sri lanka is playing a sort of a balancing of the power uh, between china and india definitely we have to do it in the indian ocean but is that to, what that's happened last government that happened last government why india really upset with us i saw in geneva this thing what he said what is the statement he made yeah. so this is where balancing foreign policy we need for that we are now going west bias foreign policy 
that is the issue. We can see from the international aid code. Uh, some, one of our viewers is saying that uh, uh, Sri Lanka's role is uh, between India and China is uh, one of a, uh, of a mistress. I, I don't want to uh, comment too much on that, of course. But uh, what hope for corruption and accountability and responsibility, just as we come to the end of our yes. morning's program? What do you think? How many complaints are there in the Bribery and Corruption Commission? Started from 2015, January 9th. And how many cases has been filed? The issue, not the Bribery Corruption Commission. The way you collect evidence, the way you collect witnesses, is a serious problem now. So you have to prove the case beyond reasonable doubt. But now, we, but but are you happy at the, as we finish this morning's program? Are you happy that at least we have made a start because we have had to make a start somewhere? I'm a little bit happy. We have made a start, but we are not continuing that system. But one thing that Sri Lanka doesn't have, and which the United Arab Emirates does have, is the world's first minister in charge of happiness. We might discuss that another time. Thank Excellent. you very much. We are happy that you've been on the program. Thank you. Thanks. And that's it from uh, Newsline this morning. We'll see you same time, same place tomorrow morning, helping you stay connected. Take care. Have a great day and God bless.